In this video, you'll see how to set up cross-region metrics collection for Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus, or AMP. With this capability, you can collect observability metrics from multiple workloads in different AWS regions into one AMP workspace, privately and securely route data traffic between multiple regions, and aggregate Prometheus metrics in a centralized Grafana dashboard view. In this example, we'll use three AWS regions, X, Y, and Z. The highlighted text in the address bar shows us that this is US East 1, and an Amazon EKS cluster has been created here. We'll refer to this region as Region X. To get started, let's switch to Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus and create a workspace. Notice that we're creating the AMP workspace in the US West 2 region, which we'll call Region Y. Regions X and Y will be our main focus. Here, we can see the remote write URL that the Prometheus server will be pointing to. Next, we'll navigate to the VPC endpoint page to set up a VPC endpoint on Region Y. We'll connect our VPC to the Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus. AMP replicates a workspace's data into multiple availability zones within the same region. We'll keep these default settings. Now we have a VPC endpoint on Region Y that we can use to make calls to the AMP service from the VPC in Region X. Next, let's go to Elastic Kubernetes Service, or Amazon EKS, in Region X to review our cluster. As you can see, Prometheus has already been deployed to our EKS cluster and we're running multiple pods. Now let's go to the VPC Management Console to create a peering connection between our VPCs on Region X and Region Y. For the Requester VPC, we'll select the VPC that has our EKS cluster. In this case, the VPCs we are connecting are in the same account but in different regions. Let's go to the VPC that has our AMP workspace and copy its ID. Now we'll select Region Y from the list and paste in the Acceptor VPC ID. Our peering connection has been requested. Now let's go to our VPC peering connection screen on Region Y to accept it. The VPC peering connection is now active. To send and receive traffic across this connection, we'll need to configure one of the route tables on Region X, where the EKS cluster is. We'll select the public route table and add a route destination. Let's obtain the CIDR range of the Region Y VPC with our AMP workspace, so we can enter it here. We'll select the newly created peering connection as the target. Now let's quickly configure the route table for the Region Y VPC with the CIDR range of the Region X VPC. Here we can see that each region is connected. Next, we'll configure the security group in Region Y to allow requests from resources in the VPC in Region X. Again, we'll enter the VPC CIDR range of the EKS cluster in Region X. The security group is now updated with the new rule we added. As you can see, the inbound rule we created is working. The next step is to configure Amazon Route 53 to resolve requests to the AMP workspace to be routed through the VPC endpoint. To do this, we'll create a hosted zone for our AMP workspace in Region Y. We'll create a private hosted zone, which will keep all traffic on the AWS backbone and off the public internet. We'll supply the Region X VPC ID for our EKS cluster. We have successfully created the private hosted zone. 
Now let's create an A record to route the traffic to the VPC endpoint we created earlier. We'll use the wizard to create the record and use the simple routing policy. We don't have to submit a record name because our AMP workspace is the default. We'll select Alias to VPC Endpoint and specify Region Y, where we created our endpoint. We'll also select a VPC Endpoint Alias. Now let's define and create the record. You can see here that we have created a record that directs traffic to the VPC Endpoint. Finally, we'll query the cross-regional metrics in our AMP workspace from an Amazon-managed Grafana dashboard. For our purposes, an Amazon-managed Grafana workspace has already been created in our third region, Region Z. Let's go to Amazon-managed Grafana and configure our AMP workspace as the new data source plugin. We'll quickly test that the plugin is working. Now we can explore our data. First, we'll select the Prometheus data source we just created. Next, we'll run a sample query. Let's query for current in flight requests in the last 15 minutes. As you can see, we are able to query metrics in Grafana from the EKS cluster through the AMP workspace. You've just seen how to set up cross-region metrics collection for Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.